My name is Abadri Inkechinere. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this bodysuit um, from scratch, from cutting, to the measurement, to the fittings and everything. So you'd like it definitely. So you can do it yourself if you have a machine at home. This is a very easy step. So guys, let's get into it and please like and comment share to your friends please subscribe click the subscribe button thank you so much <laughs> so guys we'll be starting with the front pattern i've gone ahead to rule the lines of the camera so i'm going to be recapping um quickly so i've gone ahead to um mark my shoulder which is 15 inches divided by two which is seven and a half inches I've gone ahead to rule it so now i'm going to be marking from my shoulder down to my bust from my shoulder down to my bust which is nine inches i'm going to mark it at nine inches vertically so i'm going to mark it there and i've gone ahead to rule it so that's the rule i made out there so now i'm going to take down the tape again from my bust measurement i'm going to mark six inches that is my waist but you have to measure your own to be um, accurate to be precise but mine is six inches from my weight from my bust from my bust to my waist is six inches so that is what i just marked out now so now i'm going to be marking from my waist to my crush line which is 11 inches so mark yours to be accurate mark your customers mark your clients on to be accurate so i'm going to have to rule it so now i'm going to be um placing the horizontal measurement i'm going to be marking a quarter of my bust measurement at my bust point so that's your bust measurement divided by four that is a quarter of your bust measurement i'm going to be marking mine there at my bust point measurement i'm going to mark a quarter of it at the bust measurement so now that's and i'm going to be minusing one inches because i am working on a stretchy fabric so it's going to the one inches i'm minusing is going to accommodate the whole part of my body because it's very stretchy and trust me if you even minus two inches for this fabric i'm working with it's still going to fit you very very well so i'm going to go over to my waistline i'm going to mark a quarter of my waist measurement equally and i'm going to equally minus one inches like i said you can equally minus two inches depending on the stretch the kind of fabric you're working on so this one i'm working on is really really stretchy so i really minus one inches from there so that is it about the the fabric quickly guys i'm going to be giving you guys a tips so i'm going to be marking from my waistline six inches down so that six inches is a tip it's actually a head that would make me shape out my panty line that's a crush area to shape it out to cover it out properly so i can actually go from the from the waistline to cover the panty line but it wouldn't um, turn out fine so that the six inches is to enable me shape out my panty line properly so I've, i'm going to go ahead to roll it out now i'm going to um, place a quarter of my hip measurement at that six inches below my waistline so that is it and i'm going to go ahead to connect the lines from my waist up to my um, bust point so I'm going to um, trace the line properly so it becomes prominent because I'm, I'm using a pen so I want it to um, be prominent enough for you all to see so I'm going to connect the line from my waist down to my hip line or the upper hip line because that's the six inches I um, marked out for the head so I'm going to use my free hand to trace um, from the six inches line I made above I'm going to trace it down so I like to use freehand guys because freehand will help me to um, determine what I want definitely before I go out to use my pattern curve or pat French curve to rule out the line so I'm making it prominent here because I want it to like turn out fine and that is it so guys from that six inches you can decide on how you want yours to be I wanted my to to cover my front area and equally cover my back area because i want to wear them on the beach literally everywhere without feeling some type of weight so i'm going to move forward to the um to the shoulder area i'm going to mark out the shoulder line 
I'm going to quickly trace down the shoulder line from the shoulder up to my from the um, bust up to my shoulder I'm going to make the line prominent so I'm going to be doing the standard measurements here which you already know I'm going to be marking one inch below my shoulder line that is the um the slant on your shoulder we all know the slant in our shoulder area so I'm going to be marking half of my bust pan, which is 7 inches, which is 3 and half. I'm going to be going inward there half an inch and I'm going to be connecting it to my shoulder area. So I'm going to be connecting the half an inch inwards to my shoulder area. And I'm going to quickly, from the half an inch, I'm going to quickly connect it to, the sh to my shoulder slant i'm going to roll it up straight so from the half an inch inwards i um i went through that's half of my bust pan that's three and a half inches i'm going to be um connecting my curve rule that is my arm hole i'm going to be connecting my arm hole there i'm going to be covering my arm hole directly from there to my bust um, point so now i'm going to go over to the neck area i'm using four inches for this um I'm using four inches for this body suit because I want it to be a little bit low. So I'm using four inches um, vertically. That's the length of the neckline to be four inches and the width to be three inches. Um, you can make yours however you want it. You can make it four inches, you can make it five inches. I wanted mine to be a little bit low. So yeah, I'm going to be um, connecting the, the shoulder slant now from the three inches width to the shoulder um, line. So I'm going to connect it and I'm going to go ahead to cover the neckline that is a round neck I'm going to um, use my curve rule to make the round neck prominent enough so I'm going to go ahead and rule it and curve it out so that is it about it and that is it about the front pattern so they are making it prominent so i'm going to go ahead to add half an inch allowance it's not really necessary guys like i said the material is really stretchy but because i want to use it i'm going to be using the pattern to make other um clothes other swim body suit other swim wise or any other clothes that is related to the I'm going to be cutting out the front pattern we are literally done with the front pattern you can see how nice it turns out so i'm going to be using that front pattern to trace out the back pattern while i make a little corrections guys look how beautiful our pattern is looking so beautiful so i'm going to quickly um and place it on a uh, on a free pattern i'm going to trace out the back pattern while i make a little corrections i'm going to be um making adjustments at the armhole at the crush line and probably at the neckline because i want the back neckline to be up a little bit i don't want it to be low so i'm going to trace that part off quickly so my um my pattern turns out so guys i'm going to quickly uh, pin it in place so it doesn't shift while i'm making the necessary adjustment so guys i'm going to be making the necessary adjustment only at the neckline the armhole and the crush area so the need the need for that is because i want the neckline to be the um not to be lowered like the front neckline so i'm going to quickly um, measure out one inches from the back piece i'm going to measure one inches down that is the neckline for the back that is one inches and three inches width so that is exactly like you're making a garment um one inches the back piece one inches by three inches neckline so that is exactly what i'm doing here one inches at the lens and um, three inches and maintaining the same width of the front neckline so i'm going to quickly use my french master and curve it out and curve the round neck out properly and curve it out roll it out properly so that's me trying to make it prominent and you can see how beautiful it's looking already so the difference is just the neckline is a bit up and the front neckline is lower than the back neckline so that is how i want mine you can actually make yours however way you want it but this is how i want mine to be so i'm going to go ahead to adjust the um then the armhole and the armhole 
adjustments is that the armhole the back armhole is going to be shallower than the front armhole so to be able to accommodate the front area because the back and the front is not the same so that is the reason for the adjustment so that is it i'm going to make the line prominent so guys the back piece crush is going to have a lower bottom curve so to be to enable me um where it's on the beach where it's literally anywhere i want to wear it you can make yours to be um deeper you can make yours to be further from what i'm doing but i want mine to be lower so i just want to be able to wear it literally anywhere so i'm going to go ahead to um connect it i'm going i'm going to make the line prominent i'm going to cover the um areas that need to be carved out so i so it doesn't turn out to be sharp when i'm cutting it out so that is me trying to uh, shape it carve it in so i can cut it uh, cut it fine so i'm trying to define the lines to show me that this area i've got to carve it properly well so that is it about this back pattern so now so now guys a quick reminder um i forgot to tell you to add allowance at the crush depth so you add about two inches or one inches depending on how stretchy the fabric is but mine i ended up adding two inches allowance after the one and a half inches i added after the crush line you can see the line there there's a one and a half inches after the crush line so uh while cutting it on the fabric remember to add about two inches so i'm going to be cutting it now this is a quick one guys i'm going to be cutting the sleeve this is a basic sleeve so i'm going to be cutting it so now i've gone ahead to um mark out the line i'm going to be using um 22 inches for the length and I'm, i've marked out the five inches standard and 11 inches from my elbow so that I've I'm going to be placing my um, round sleeve measurements divided by two at the um, five inches standard and max below. So I'm going to quickly measure out my um, my elbow divided by two and I'm going to place it there plus half an inch allowance. And I'm going to quickly measure my wrist. I'm going to measure my fist. So I'm going to still mark it there plus an allowance at the edge of the um, of the pattern. That is the length of the pattern. So that is me measuring my fist. So I'm going to mark my fist divided by two at the length of the pattern paper. That is the length of the sleeve. So that is it. I'm going to be ruling out the line from my wrist to my elbow and from my elbow down to my round sleeve circumference. And I'm going to i'm going to connect the line from my uh, from my round sleeve circumference to this pattern top and i'm going to cover it in so this is a standard sleeve guys there's not much thing it's something to connect from my round sleeve circumference to the top of the pattern so i'm going to cover it in and i'm going to um, cut it out so this is a very simple basic sleeve pattern so i'm going to cut it out straight i'm going to from the cover line i'm going to cover it out and that is it about the sleeve you can see how beautiful it's looking so that is it about a basic sleeve pattern to join the shoulders together and i'm going to um, also join the sleeves by making a notch at the center of the sleeve and i'm joining it to uh, the center of the um, shoulder hem and i'm going to um so i like sewing my sleeve this way guys it's the easiest way for me while it's open i spread it apart and i join it together so that is it about the sleeve so now i'm going to quickly fit it in to know if there's any adjustment and here i kind of notice that the material is even stretchy i might not necessarily need to add the allowance i was talking about so you can see how fitted it's looking already Add about two inches here at the back and um, crush because i felt like it's not going to be enough for the initial mistake i made so now this is a um, um, snap fastener i'm using black one so it's very handy because how it is it's, and it's very affordable here in nigeria i got this about 150 in market so uh 150 200 naira. i don't think it's 200 naira. so now i'm going to be using this so the over the side that has an opening I'm going to use it for the front by the side that has hook I'm going to use it for the back so I'm going to do I'm going to add I'm going to um, I'm going to add the snap fastener I'm going to make it to be three so I'm going to place it this way I'm going to space it out this way and equally I'll space it out this way here for the back 
so that's just what it is and this is the correction i made for the back i added two inches extra to enable me to enable its lap so that's what it is guys so i will show you the end that is on my side tell her how it turned out it looks so beautiful i'm so happy mm -hmm.